Here are some more examples on inequalities with absolute functions. Now, when we say that absolute function is less than or equal to 5, then we mean that it is between 5 and minus 5, correct? So therefore, we can write this as half of x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5 and greater than or equal to minus 5. So that is important understanding of absolute function. Absolute function less than 5 means it is within the domain of any anything 5 in any direction, okay? So plus or minus 5. It is within plus or minus 5. So this is within minus 5 and plus 5. This kind of definition helps to solve absolute inequalities. Otherwise, there is another way of redefining absolute function and then splitting into two halves and solving, which I will do separately. And I will explain you that process when we are doing greater than equalities, okay? For less than, I prefer this method. Now here, to solve this, we have to first get rid of one and then half. So to get rid of one, we will add one on every side. So one, we'll do plus one here, plus one here, and plus one here. So we get, when we add plus one here, so let me write plus one and less than equal to, when we add plus one here, we get just half x, right? Minus one plus one, and we get five plus one, six. So now, this is what we get. So minus five plus one is minus four, is less than equals to half x, is less than equals to 6, right? Now, to get x, we need to multiply everything by 2. So let's do that. So you say minus 4 times 2 is 8, is less than equal to x, is less than equals to 6 times 2 is 12. Therefore, our solution is that x is within minus 8 and 12. So that's the solution. If you are asked to show the solution on a number line, then the way to do it is like this draw a number line and then mark your points. So let's say this is 0 and let's say this is 12. 12 is included, right? And 8 is this point, let's say minus 8. Then you can write here, you should write here minus 8 and plus 12 and that's your 0, right? And draw the line connecting them. Is that okay? And these points included, correct? So that's the solution on a number line for this inequality. Let's do one more. We will follow exactly the same process. So when we say that this function is less than or equal to 4, that means it is within 4 and minus 4. Therefore, I can write this as within minus 4 and 4, right? So it is 3x minus 2 is less than or equals to 4, correct? Now we'll add 2 at every place. So this time, let's say minus 4 plus 2 less than or equals to 3x minus 2 plus 2 less than or equals to 4 plus 2, right? Now if we solve it, we get minus 2 is less than or equals to 3x is less than or equals to 4 plus 2, 6. Now to get x, we'll just divide by 3, right? So we get minus 2 over 3 is less than or equals to x is less than or equals to 6 divided by 3 is 2, correct? Therefore, our solution is in inequality form like this or on a number line, we can write this as this is 0 so minus 2 over 3 is less at this point, which is included, and let's say this is 2 for us, okay? So we can show our answer as minus 2 over 3, this is 0, and that's 2, and a line joining them. So within this portion, we get our answer, correct? That is how we say. In bracket form also, we can write this answer, and in bracket form, the answer will be including minus 2 over 3, right? and up to 2. So that is in bracket form. Here also we can write in bracket notation which is from minus 8 to 12. So that's how we do inequalities which turn out to be a double inequality when we do for absolute functions. I hope by now you understand how to solve these kinds of problems uh, with absolute functions. Okay, thank you.